Okay, so we can now remove this mold. We can remove this one. Okay, there we go. And we've got quite a lot of overhang still to cut off of this. Um, and there's several ways that we can get rid of this overhang. The simplest way is just to whittle it. Now, for whittling it, you have to always whittle downhill. So, with the sound ball especially, get these going in this direction with the knife. What I do tend to do now is to whittle as much as I can, and then I'm going to take off the rest using a router. To finish the instrument, I'm going to be using a shellac based finish um, and French polishing instrument by rubbing on the finish using a, a pad. Um, to measure out the shellac, um, I'm using a, I think blonde shag uh, in this example. Okay. Um, I'm just judging. I'm just measuring this by eye. What we're basically going to do is add about two times as much um, spirit as, as um, um, I'm having to use methylated spirit. Because, um, but if you're in the, if you're in the United States, you can get Everclear, which is pure alcohol. Um, the problem with this stuff is that it is toxic, really, to your skin. You've got to be very careful. Um, trying to get trying not to breathe in or to use too much of it. It is. Alcohol is a lot safer if you can get it. Um, I can't get it here. At the anyway. So it's just double around. So it's sort of two to one ratio. Okay, this will take a little while to um, dissolve properly, and you'll also it'll also lose that purple colour as it goes. Um, I would normally leave it overnight. Overnight normally does it about 12 hours, I think. If you keep shaking it every couple of hours, that does seem to help, though. As you can see, it's already started to change a little bit, but it, it, it takes a while. Um, we shouldn't need this for a couple of days, luckily. So we have a. I'm making it now in advance. I will need to... Okay, before we route, we're just going to seal the top. All this does is to prevent the, the router taking chunks out of the wood. It sort of helps make a cleaner cut to make the wood... Because spruce is quite a soft wood, it, there is some tendency for it to chip. And so by putting a bit of shellac sealer on here, this is all going to be sanded off in the end before we put our proper finish on. Um, we can do the same on the cherry, but it's not as vital, not as vital on the cherry. Now one thing I'm going to do before I, I, I wrap the instrument is I'm going to inlay some pieces of walnut in the between the, the neck and the body. The reason I do it now is because I, when I route, route around um, I want to first smooth this off and then I'm going to prepare this to, uh, because I want to put some grooves for bindings as well some, uh, afterwards. So I'm going to just, um, just, I'm just making a, a, a two millimeter groove and I'm going to inlay these two millimeter pieces of walnut then I'll send that smooth and then we, we're ready to begin routing. Okay, 
a slightly oversized, but I'll, I'll cut it down once that's dried. And then I can turn over and do the other side. It doesn't have to be too deep. Um, I'm using this 2mm chisel, uh, but you can do it by knife. Just one more coat of the sealant and then we'll be ready to route in a minute. See I put some tape around the instrument to build up the, the areas where I thin down uh, by a millimeter, half a millimeter or so, um, just so that when I'm routing the instrument sits flat on, on, on the router table. I'm now going to use a router table to quickly take off the remainder of the wood down to the sides. As long as this is against the sides of the instrument, it will only trim the top or the back to that level. Now I w you can only do this on a router table. If you do this by freehand, you're likely to dig into the instrument. And even so, even this way, is, it still can be hazardous. So you need to take care. routing and at this stage if we want we can take sandpaper and finish off these edges and we can leave, we can just leave the instrument like this um, as long as we're happy with everything we can just sand this flush um, where the routing is slightly missed we can just sand that with some sandpaper and that'll be the end um, and that'll be finished but why in this case I'm just going to take it one step further and I'm going to put an extra rebate in around the edge and this is going to be for the binding now I'm going to try and match up I've got a walnut strip on the back, I've got some walnut pieces in laid on the side and what I'm going to try and do is have some walnut binding going around the edge. Um, so I'm going to re rebate a step using a different bit. 